Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And if you have a new PC or if you've reinstalled Windows with 24H2 on Windows 11, what happens is that your drive might have BidLocker turned on, which means that everything now is encrypted. And if you don't care and don't want that to be, or if you are um, simply... Uh, not interested in, in having that uh, BitLocker uh, turned on. So what happens is you can look at the status of BitLocker by just searching for the BitLocker um, uh, info. And um, what this is going to give you is the manage BitLocker in the control panel. Here, if it's turned on, it's going to be telling you... Uh, that you can turn off BitLocker uh, if it's on. So basically, um, if it's on, you want to turn it off, it's going to ask you for a few things. And these are the recovery ID and keys for BitLocker, which is in your Microsoft account, by the way. So where do you find this? Well, you log into your account, and I'll actually share the account on Microsoft.com webpage where you log in. And the account login, you will actually go to your devices uh, tab that you see here. So mine says four devices. You see two of them right now. You click on view details of the a PC that you're using that has BitLocker on it. Once you do that, you will actually get to a page which will uh, give you the details of that device, Windows version and all of that. And the, on the bottom of the image of the device, the BitLocker data protection is going to be here and it's going to say manage recovery keys. You'll have to go there. Once you go there, you will be presented with a page that looks like this. The device name, so for example, I've got two devices that it seems BitLocker is on. So the device name uh, and the what you need is the key ID you will have to take that, note that down. And the recovery key, which is a long string of numbers that you also need, those two together will enable you to manage the uh, BitLocker encryption and turn it off if you want it. And once you turn it off, it'll be fine. After you turn it off, you can delete it as if you turn it on again or do something, it will create a new key. Um, and a new key ID. So this is where you'll find that information for the uh, BitLocker recovery keys in your Microsoft account. Then, of course, you can just leave it alone uh, if you turn it off. It is one thing that you might want to consider if you have a new PC because BitLocker might actually be on, uh, on your uh, drive. So that also is something to learn and know about. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.